Tonight with the latest in a WMBF news investigation where the case against the suspected driver behind that deadly Myrtle Beach hit and run is once again changing hands. Our Ali Espinosa joins us in the control room to tell us what's changed in the courtroom and how the victim's family feels about it. Tell us more. Ali. Eric, a third prosecutor has now taken over the case against 60 year old Walter Hayes, who's accused of hitting and killing 30 year old Nelson Green Jr. in May of 2023. The change is sparking outrage among Green's family, who fears it'll put another halt to the case and keep them from closure. Quite frankly, I'm at my wit's end. Green's relatives remain frustrated with the justice system. Now nearly eight months since the early morning crash that claimed their beloved Nelson's life. Rolling like the people rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> Solicitor Jimmy Richardson claims he made the call to change prosecutors over recent complaints, but has yet to publicly elaborate on that decision. I have taken that case and given it to someone else. Um, the biggest uh, takeaway is that we want everybody to be comfortable. Green's relatives tell me they want nothing more than the case to be over, but admit the solicitor's latest move may be a step in the right direction. Thankfully that he saw that there was a problem in his organization and unlike Myrtle Beach Police Department, he did not decide to sweep it under the rug. He did not decide to play hot potato. This time Jimmy put that hot potato in his hand and he took accountability and that's what I like to see. That's what I need to see. And even while court proceedings lag behind, Green's family tells me they won't give up until their son's suspected killer heads to prison. Um, then Green's family tells me the NAACP will be assisting them with this case, but we're waiting on an official statement from the president of the Georgetown branch. I'm also told Hayes is headed back to court sometime next month for his next hearing. In the control room, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.